We're hearing from a Vancouver tow truck driver who nearly lost his life after a driver pinned him between two cars. This happened on the side of I-5. Chappelle's Towing is teaming up with AAA, reminding drivers of an important law. Our Fox 12's Brenda Kelly has this new interview. In the crash, David Rios lost his right leg and nearly died after trying to help tow a family off the side of I-5 in Vancouver. Now he's honored to share his story and the campaign AAA is helping his tow company highlight, slow down, and move over. The life of a tow truck driver is inherently dangerous. David Rios knew that and still loved his job because he was helping people. It's a risk you know, that we all take. And we try to be uh, on the side of the road or wherever you are, uh, courtesy, efficient, professional, get people out of harm's way. Because it could have been a lot worse for me on the 31st. It could have been more than one person hit. The night of January 31st, David was trying to change a tire on the side of I-5 in Vancouver. The caller was a grandmother with her grandkids. David says he told her they needed to move to a safer spot. But before they could, a driver crossed into the right shoulder, pinning David between two cars. The woman's husband, who had driven there to meet them, quickly took off his belt and told David to hold on. He tied the tourniquet around my leg, stopped the bleeding, and then that's the last I remember just going to the ambulance and I passed out. I woke up in the hospital a couple of days later. David lost his right leg, almost lost his left too. His family didn't know if he would make it. The road to recovery has been painfully slow. I'm not working, of course. I can't get around. I can't drive. Um, I can't have no activities like physical with my son or family. Now David's company, Chappelle's Towing, is partnering with AAA Washington, local firefighters and other towing companies to remind drivers of the law. Slow down and move over. It could save a life. You know, after the David's accident the next morning, you know, it really hit home on the, our, the rest of our guys, you know, because it could be any one of them that that could happen to. David says he's looking forward to getting his strength and mobility back and moving on with his life. He says he's so appreciative of all the community support. Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.